Hello, see hello, hello. Ooh, that hair, that hair. Should have grabbed a glass of water before I began this, but that's okay. We'll make it through anyway. Hello, Sinem. Hey, I hope your uh, Periscope is finally working well for you again. Uh, oh, that's a nice blue. I got this new blue shirt. Uh, it's working well. Hello, Eric. How are you doing on this fine weekend? Hope you all are doing well. I am going to be, uh, oh, hey, all the way from Greece. How are you doing? Uh, I like that we're getting a bit of a, across the globe here. I love this. Uh, ooh, thank you, Sina. Back around, what we're going to do is we're taking a look at the aesthetic guide for the Dapper Man, which you all know already. That's my uh, illustrated lookbook. Nice whales. Uh, different fashion illustrations for the Dapper Man. On, uh, it's a limited edition of 50 of these hardcover books. And what I'm doing on the inside of each of them is doing an original illustration. So on the inside uh, cover paper here, I'm going to do a fashion illustration. Uh, I did one just the other day. It was a 7 Friday watch. I'm going to do a men's fashion painting right here with you guys. Um, I'm going to try and stand up for this, I think. Give myself a better position here. How has everyone's weekend been, first of all? I'd love to hear how you guys are doing. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool when it's all uh, said and done. Greece and Turkey are fairly close. What's the weather like over there? Temperatures are cooling down here, but it's still too hot for me. All right, we're about to get started here. I'm using this painting as inspiration for what I'm doing on the inside cover. Sort of a suit and tie look. Um, so you're going to see that pop up here. I'm going to start with my thing that I always use, my favorite, Dr. Page Martin's Bombay Black India Ink. Uh, always works well. I've never had an issue with it. Um, we're painting right on the inside of the book here, which is a little scary. You guys are up late over there. Past midnight, it's 33 Celsius. Um, that's still kind of warm. I don't know how you can handle that. So with this, we're hearkening back to some of my older illustration days. Back when I first started getting into menswear. Which is really exciting to me. Um, because in this case, we're keeping it very simple. You kind of have a basic structure with the black ink. That gives us the look of the tie gives us the suggestion of where the lapels are on the jacket where the pocket is and we have a pocket square, square sticking out there grab myself some more acrylic I'm gonna give this a minute to dry I'm finding on the inside of this uh, book cover paper the ink dries a bit slower than normal. So I'm giving it a minute just to soak in there, preparing my white acrylic on this uh, old business card um, so that when I need it, it's going to be there for me. 
Um, I'm going to make sure this is all good to go. Right up here, it's still wet. And right here, it's still wet. So I cannot go ahead and paint on that. But what I will do is prepare my color. I already have this color on here that I really like that I'm going to use. Um, but it is not ready to apply to the page yet. I'm actually going to add a bit more orange. And on my palette here, there's a wide, wide range of brands. Uh, I don't have a specific loyalty, although I do use Windsor & Newton quite often. And let's mix this color up here. Since it's going on this gray page, I'm going to have to lean a lot more toward yellow. Um, I'm afraid it's going to make it look a bit more green than I want it to, uh, but we'll find out here in a minute. I might actually need a little bit more red as well. So we'll grab some red here. Hopefully this will make the orange of this tan, stu tan suit stand out against this gray background that we're painting on. Mix that all together, give myself a little bit of a teaser of what that color is going to look like. A bit more red than I would like. I'm going to add some more yellow here. Hello, Jay Gatsby. Good to have you back. I think that yellow is going to make me happy. And then just a tad bit of blue, because I can never not use blue. All right, so this color I think is essentially mixed. We're looking pretty good. And um, yep, yep, we're looking dry, nice and dry. And we're actually getting, we're going to keep this color really, really loose. Uh, we're going to allow the brush strokes to kind of speak for the painting a little bit. And, ooh, yeah, I like that a lot. So let that brush stroke just kind of describe that entire lapel. That is the lapel there. Really, really like that. And then maybe the folds in the jacket are described there with that bit of painting. And we're mostly going to let this kind of live as it is right there. Um, that's going to describe the jacket. What we're really focusing in on here is the shirt pattern that we're about to do and the tie. Um, and then the, it's, it's the pocket square too, which is going to help really define the difference between the lapel and the jacket and provide a lot of definition to the form of the figure. Again, I need to let that dry a little bit. I need to go back to my other palette here. I have another mix of colors. And put together this purple I want. It's a bit dark, so I'm going to add this uh, more magenta color. Really lighten up that purple, especially on this gray background. I want this purple to be a bit, bit brighter. Again, we're going to go with some pretty loose brush strokes. I like the tone of this purple. I'm going to let that center sit just like that. I'm not even going to cover the whole thing. Ooh, thank you. Yeah. The purples are always a pain, but if I can start with a purple base and add my own variation on it, I always enjoy it so much better. And the shirt is really going to be a simple description. Uh, mostly we're going to look at the shirt through the patterning of the blue. And I, ooh, that was loud. I'm going to use this blue that's right on here. It's more of a teal, but on the gray background, again, it's going to have more of a darker push closer to navy than it is right now. So 
So I actually set that down on the inside of that book cover there. And we'll start describing the collar of the jacket through the pattern here. Begin defining its form. Ooh, love that. Be a little bit more subtle on this side and not define the entire edge, just the inside of the lapel or the uh, collar. My apologies. It's more of an Italian style collar. It sits really high on the neck. You can see right on the inside there. And then here's the body of the shirt. Ooh. Gosh, am I loving that? And so, so far, all of this has been using watercolor paints bit of water, very loose. Um, I'm allowing the form to kind of just appear based on the direction of the brush strokes and the differentiating of the colors. Uh, but now we're going to go in and throw some detail in with white acrylic, which really complicates things so that it reacts differently on the page than the watercolor does. But it gives a lot of freedom switching up mediums really forces you to trust yourself. So here I have an old business card preparing my acrylic white, it's titanium white. I'm just going to go on here with pure white. And we're going to describe here subtly the contrasting side of the collar. And we don't need to define everything, we can keep it loose. I think it uh, makes the painting that much more interesting if you have to allow your mind to kind of finish things, to allow your mind to describe the figure. And define the edge of this collar a little bit more. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, this is amazing. I'm loving working on this white background, or this gray background, and applying the white over top. Ah, such great contrast. I'm going to define a little bit of the tie, make the tie pop just a little bit here. Let it mix in with a little bit of the water that's still on the page. And right now what I'm going to do, I have my uh, towel over here. I'm wiping most of the paint off the brush, even just a hint of paint in there. I'm going to drag it along here and it creates this beautiful texture but also adds a subtle highlight along the inside edge of the tie. And I have a little bit more water to the brush. Mix it in with the um, paint here. Suggest the edge of the lapel. And then this is the part that is really exciting to me. And I have one shot at it. Hopefully I make it work. I want to have this pocket square be a little bit whimsical. I think we can pull this off. Start really steady. We'll see. I think uh, time will tell if that's whimsical at all. But I think, ooh, ooh. I'm going to do one more thing to add a little bit more volume to this figure. Not just the white, we're going to add a little bit of shadow in here. Just a little bit of shadow. We're going to use a bit of graphite gray and this blue. Ooh, that makes a gray that I'm not too fond of. Add a bit of the purple. So we're kind of pulling colors from all over the page in there. Ah, and this is going to create our shadow. So this is what I'm going to use right inside here. Just 
describe a bit of this shirt where there's a little bit of shadowing. We're going to use it to uh, pop out the lapel just a tiny bit. Ooh, loving that. And then on the inside of the tie. All right, I think that is gorgeous. Now what we'll do is add one little more, one little detail here. Me too. Thanks, Sina. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The support has always been amazing. There's one little detail right there. If he needs to put a lapel flower in his lapel, it's good to go. And so here we have an original illustration sitting right on the inside cover of the aesthetic guide for the Dapper Man. Uh, it's wet, so I'm not going to open up the pages too often, but what you'll find is you have the cover, cover, and right on the inside page here, it's a protective paper, but it leads you right straight into the book. So you're not ruining anything. It can be cut out, it can be framed on the wall, or it can be left inside the book. You can press clients and press friends. Um, thank you guys so much for the support, for letting me know that you like it. I think it turned out really nice. It's simple, but it's gorgeous, so descriptive. And so this is the piece that I based it on, a previous painting that I did. I think I captured the heart of it well. Uh, and I'll do another one of these here in about 15 to 20 minutes, I think. Uh, I understand if Greece and Turkey, if you guys are too tired to join in, totally makes sense. Super light there. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. It's very nice. And I will uh, hang out with you guys in a bit.